in the wee small hours of the morning. So what do we get up to last month? April 2016. Take a picture. Come here. Come here. Now this is the amazing Layla with her brother Jude. Oh. And the amazing Victoria. <laughs> Going. And this is the three Bye. of them playing the piano and Victoria I'm is going. off to a gig. Where are you going? Uh, Essex. Essex? Yes, yes to see my... Uh, Future? Yeah, <laughs> the other half. <laughs> and there's Teddy. Teddy's just walked in. Lovely. Take a picture. Yes. Jude. Oh, this artist. <laughs> right. Okay. Fine. Leave it there for Daddy. Oh, yeah, here we are. You're here. In the Klosky household. Well, Ali's daddy. Ali, Ali's daddy, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Layla's daddy. And me, of course. And I've got to switch the lights on. We might be able to see better. And there's a new cat. See the tiniest cat? And his brother. Sister. A brother and a sister. Brother and sister. Half. Half brothers. And they're main main king? Main, main king. king. Half cross. main king. Main king cross. And they're going to be absolutely huge. No, they're not. This one's a quarter main king. Yeah. And this one's half main king. So oh I see. I see. And they're going to be those enormous cats. They're not going to be I'm going to get a photograph yeah, of and put it up beside no, this these one, cats. He'll be a quarter enormous. Yeah. And they've got Grandad here looking after I'm them. No, you're not. Have I not got to look after them, no? Well, you might be. I might be. And one of them has just blown off and the stench is something else. Well, it's starting to go now. But I have never known that cats blow off. Yeah, they will. Well, done kittens that. do, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, they've got a lovely right. at the moment as well. Is yeah, that their permanent home? No, yeah? this is where we. She's just well, I didn't have one of them when I brought the cat once, our cat, well, one of the cats, to the uh, vet. He disappeared out of my arms. <laughs> and that vet was about seven miles away. About three weeks later, the cat turned up at home. So didn't need to go to the vet at home. Do you remember Dempsey. that? Dempsey, yeah. Dempsey did, yeah, because somebody yeah. brought him back. I don't know why we ever brought him to the vet in the first place. <laughs> now tell me about your new kittens. Come on then. Their names are <laughs> Mrs. Luna, Luna, Luna and Binks. 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 See, I know that I know the names better. Yeah, than but you. I, I was going to say Bissy, Bessie. Bessie. Jaja Binks. Binks. And Luna Lovegood. Luna Lovegood. Luna. Luna who? Lovegood. Love She's in Harry Potter. Do they speak any foreign languages at all? No. Not yet? No. They speak cat language. The girl is half Maine Coon. The girl is half Maine Coon and half oh, Maine Coon. And the boy is a quarter Maine Coon. They're the, dog, they're the cats that are very tiny, aren't they? No, they're the cats they that grow. are like really big. Really big? Yeah. Really? Have yeah, I got I'm the wrong cat? I can show you one. So here I am. In Eastbourne, a restaurant called Rosetta. And I have a story to tell. Jess Conrad rang me and said, Would I meet him tonight? He did say tonight in Eastbourne because he wanted to go and see Peter Noon at the Congress Theatre. So, on at six, so I said I'd meet him at six o'clock. We go for a nice meal in a lovely Italian restaurant. And I came. I was here at six o'clock. Oh, Jess. I looked at the advertisement for Peter Noon, Mersey Beats, Brian Highland, Silver 60s show. It's next Tuesday, the 3rd of May. So I'm sitting here on my own, looking out at the street in Eastbourne. I must say, having an absolutely lovely time, I've had the most gorgeous piece of veal, which I asked the guy to 
just give me a surprise. And now I'm having a delightful glass of red wine. I'm looking over at the Heritage Centre. Must be something on over there tonight. Loads of people are going in. I might pop over there in a minute and see what's happening. So here I am, deck out on the downs. I'm supposed to be going to the Congress Theatre tonight with my good friend Jess Conrad. But unfortunately, it just rung me to say Jess is doing an audition tomorrow for Benidorm. <laughs> I look forward to seeing him on that. He's absolutely well suited for that. So I'm not going to the Congress tonight. And uh, quietly I'm saying to myself, thank goodness, because I'm not a fan of all that 60s stuff. Although I was in the 60s, uh, well, I think we did it better than most. But the guys who are on tour nowadays with these silver shows and golden shows and all that, uh, they don't take it seriously enough for me. It's a uh, very old fashioned, very old hat, the old tight black leather jeans and all that stuff. I no, I, I don't like it. So there we are. So what I thought I'd do is just take you up the downs with me, up the downs. Isn't that lovely the way we say that? We're going to walk up the downs. Just outside my house in, in Eastbourne. This is where I'm walking. There's a chap walking towards me, so I'll say a nice hello to him. But as we go along, I'll show you some nice bits and pieces. In the woods, I'll try and find a shack I built for the kids. It's in there somewhere, and I'll find it. Hello. <laughs> this is the first bit I find. Isn't that lovely? I love that tree because you, you feel that you could almost live in that tree, couldn't you? You could go in underneath it and live there. Wouldn't that be lovely? Do you know, I think there's nothing nicer in life than just walking with nature. Going through the woods, going through the forests. I don't think I could live in a city again, really. This is rather lovely, isn't it? Dense. You've got to pick your way very carefully. I can't find my treehouse at all, by the way. That's very strange because I built it. <laughs> I hope nobody's taken it away. Probably have, actually. Council or borough councils and that, they're terrible for... They've probably taken it away because they feel somebody might live there and not pay council tax. Oh, sorry, I frightened you. <laughs> I just frightened that runner. Through the trees there, I hope you can catch a glimpse of Eastbourne. It'll be much nicer when we get round the corner. I must say that show business has been desperately quiet for the start of this year. But thank goodness from next week, we're quite busy. It's lovely because Colin and I love absolutely adore singing on stage. Let me just quietly spin around and show you exactly what's happening here. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely finger post there? Somebody knocked that down the other week, some idiot. And there's the sea and this is where I'm walking. You can just see Eastbourne peeking around the corner. Isn't that delightful? A little yacht there on the horizon. I'd love to be on that yacht now. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? See, the only thing that's missing in Eastbourne is it's not a sandy beach. Well, that's the whole of Eastbourne. In the distance over there, you can see Bex Hill. And then out on the other point, it goes around to Hastings. Going the other way, which is over that mountain, is Beachy Head. And that walk all along the cliff edge, that will bring you all the way to Beachy Head. Absolutely stunning scene of very sad things. It's the most popular suicide spot in, in Britain, probably in the world. And it's almost a daily occurrence. People are up there, unfortunately, losing the will to live. Losing the will to live must be a, a dreadful affair, an affair that 
none of us want to be a part of. I feel desperately sad, but we hear the helicopters almost every day, and there's a chaplaincy, which is very nice. Obviously funded by good people. And we see the chaplain station wagon going up there nearly every day. I think it goes up there every day anyway, just in case. Just in case. It's a lovely thought. Wow. Talk about April showers. Oh, dear, oh dear. This weather's quite amazing, isn't it? Wow, they're bouncing around out there, all, <laughs> all those hailstones. See them bouncing about out there. Wonderful stuff. I think I'll emigrate. Uh, ah, well. Summer should be here soon. Hopefully. You know that I love public speaking. I adore my involvement with Toastmasters. I did a lovely speech the other week on Confucius, one of my favorite subjects. Have a listen to this. You'll love it. Am I a Confucius? Please help me welcome Declus Kennedy, Chancellor of the University of Oxford. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gordon. Madam Toastmaster, fellow welcome. Our Toastmasters, a very welcome guest, an intriguing title. Somebody said to me when they heard the title, I said, does that mean you're from Mars, Venus, Jupiter, where? Never heard of Confucius. <laughs> Confucianism. When you look at it, there are now 3.1 Christians in the world. Hands up anybody that says they're a Christian. Lovely, got quite a few. 2.6 Muslims. Hands up anybody that's a Muslim. One. Lovely. That's terrific. I was with a very dear friend of mine today who was a Muslim. And I always learn from him. And it goes down, down. And down, then, of course, Con is madly involved with Rotary. And here, they held a choir competition. Just have a listen to this. I hope I'll see you next month. Loads of gigs next month. Just go on the website, have a look, go to the diary and check out where we are. The shows that are open to the public because as you know, we do an awful lot of private shows for people who want to book us. Birthdays, parties, anniversaries. Big thing with us, 50th anniversary, 65th anniversary, all that stuff. Amazing. Unfortunately, I've got to say, we were supposed to be playing a 90th birthday next week, and unfortunately, poor Ivan has died. And he's so, his widow is so sad that the show won't go on. But there we are. These things happen. So I'll see you next month. Bye from deck. See you soon. In the wee small hours of the morning While the whole wide world is fast asleep You lie, you lie awake, awake And you think about, think about the girl, girl. 